Right guys, very quick one because I don't actually care about the England football game, just like most of you don't. I would have cared had they not become a bunch of virtue signalling tosspots bending the knee to a Marxist organisation, not supported by most of the country, let alone football fans. Now for any football fans thinking football's coming home, it really ain't. The only thing that's coming home is this England team, because from what I have seen they put more effort into bending the knee than they did to beating the Scots. Naturally, the fans booed this bollocks that the Scottish team also took part in, possibly thanks to pressure to show unity with the England cucks who now get booed at every game. This obviously just united Scottish and England fans against a common enemy, Marxist political bullshit infecting their sport, but both sides booing that nonsense really made me proud. And social justice is one thing that unites the English and Scottish populations. Now, in all honesty, that is not even really the topic of this video itself. The topic is shit weasel politicians in the UK and that detestable commie cum bucket Nicola Sturgeon who didn't want Scottish fans heading to London so they could enjoy the game. One of these toss pots was naturally Sadiq Khan, Mayor of London and a certified woke wangstain that actually thought Scottish fans would listen to him. This was of course never going to happen, let's be honest. The Scots travelled down to London in their thousands and I absolutely fucking loved it. Seeing all the fans ignoring the government's bullshit was just beautiful, especially since Sadiq Khan had opened his mouth. Reports are suggesting that 20,000 or more travelled from north of the border down to London to essentially tell all politicians to go and fuck themselves. As you know, these politicians should not be telling people what they can or can't do when it comes to enjoying themselves. They've had that for a year, it's time to fucking stop. The G7 leaders can meet up for barbecues and shit like that, so why can't football fans meet up to enjoy the atmosphere together? Oh yeah, I know why they're not VIP'd or so-called VIPs anyway, these cunts ain't VIPs unless they're very important ponces. But I do have to say well done to the fans on this one, we can't say the same about the knee-bending players but what else is new these days? As I've said, they're a bunch of knee-bending Marxist cuck fuck pigs that no one actually cares about anymore. They're all so rich, it makes me laugh hearing them talk about oppression and all this bollocks while they sit there with multi-million pound asses and all that crap. Now before I go guys, remember my website is linked down below along with my BitChute and Odyssey channels. You can follow me there should YouTube shit can me into the wrong thing gulag, which is obviously always possible these days. Like I said, the links are in the description as always. Where are